competitions. And a wordle competition between top wordle athletes and a cooking competition between the basketball coach and the athletes. Let's go check out nine needless questions. All right, this is nine needless questions. We got Coach Johnson today. For the first question, what is the weirdest food combination you enjoy? Weirdest food combination I enjoy? I really wouldn't say it's weird, but I like it when my food to touch during Thanksgiving. Okay, that's not, that's not weird. Um, what is the stupidest thing you've ever done? Pay for a master's degree. Okay. <laughs> um, if you were trapped on an island, what are three items you would bring with you? Bible, my wife, All right. and cell phone. Okay. Wait, what is this in the service? You didn't say that. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Is a hot dog a sandwich? If not, why? It's bread and meat, so I'm gonna say yes. Okay. Um, and the last question, can you create? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, we here with Josh White today, and the first question is, uh, what is the weirdest food combination you enjoy? Pickles and ketchup. <laughs> All right. Um, what is the stupidest thing you've ever done? Jump off a bridge. All right, like into some water. Yeah, into the water. All right. If you were trapped on an island, what is three items you would bring with you? Mm. A gun. All right, that's one. Uh, Megan Fox. <laughs> okay, that's two. Uh, <laughs> you. Oh, wow, okay, so you need Megan Fox and a gun. All right. <laughs> <laughs> is a hot dog a sandwich? No. If not, why? I just don't think it is. So you think it's more of a taco than a sandwich? Yeah. All right, last question. Can you agree? Yeah. Can we see it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is not needless questions, and we got Coach C today. First question, what is your weirdest food combination that you enjoy? Uh, crap. Um, salt, vinegar, chips hot dog, and uh, orange juice. All right. If you could be in any movie, what movie would you be in, and who would you play? Money Talks, Chris Tucker. Um, what is the stupidest thing you've ever done? It's a lot of them. <laughs> uh, stupidest thing I've ever done. Uh, one night in college, um, we thought that we could you know, drag race up and down the street. Mm -hmm. And I got pulled over by the police. And I told him that I was running late for it, and he let me go. Oh, nice. Um, if you were trapped on an island, what three items would you bring with you? Um, radio. Um, food. <laughs> for, or, sorry. Radio, a gun, and um, something I can probably start a fire with. Why the radio? So I can listen to tunes. Oh, right. I'm going to be go crazy out there, I'm going to use it. Um, if you could marry a fictional character, who would it be? Mm. Uh, what's, the, what's that lady off of Roger Rabbit? I have no idea. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, is a hot dog a sandwich? If not, why? It's not a sandwich because it's not closed. Like it's it's hovered. I get what I'm saying. So you think it's more of a taco than a sandwich? I do think it's more of a taco than a okay. sandwich. Last question, can you gritty? No. I've tried a million one times and I can't gritty. I can try it. See, like it'd be like I'd be Oh wait, you kinda got it. Yeah, it's awful though. I ain't got no rhythm. Alright, so, that's it. Good. Thanks. No problem. Man, I still don't understand those questions. Based off our next segment, I wouldn't expect you to. Not this again. Let's go to the word of competition with Dan. Today is our custom word of competition. Our two teams made each other a five letter custom word. Who will win? Let's go check in on them. Oh yeah, they'll never get this one right, guys. Never, they can't. No, get they would never. I just want you to know, um, it has three vowels in the X. The first word is definitely apple. No, what? That's the easiest word ever. 
No it's one would ever be choose F. that. No, no. It's got to no, be F. No. Oh, shoot. I just put a rise, and I got the A and the I. Taylor, what does your calculation say? Right now, it has to be F. All right, I think your calculations are off. Definitely Apple. Look, there's even two spaces for two P's. Oh yeah, you're right. There are two spaces for the P's. No, you idiots. It's definitely Venom. According to the trajectory of the E, it has to be plate. Oh man, it must not be plate. Come on guys, focus up. We gotta win this. Hmm. According to the area of this box, it has to be share. To this parabola, it has to be outside. Can I make it that good? That was pretty good. If there's an A and an E, the word must be trees. Oh, I have all the letters now. Let's go. You get it? I got it. Yes, Let's sir. Go. Yes, sir. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I had my money on the other team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure you did. Now let's head to a more intense competition. In this video today, we've chosen a contestant and one of the students in the school. They're gonna have only one minute to find an object we found in the school. Let's see what our contestant has to say. <laughs> so I think that I'm going to do really good at this challenge because I can do my really best if I try. And I know where all like the room codes are and everything, so I feel like I'll be able to figure out. So it's really just a matter of speed. I think I'll be The item is hidden in room 025 on the zero floor. What are your final thoughts? Um, I feel like I did really good, like I knew I would, honestly. <laughs> what do you rate your work ethic throughout these days? Um, I rated it the low and down to <laughs> Because I got there and got the thing before the timer even went off, so it's really fun. Okay, you did good, you completed the test. <laughs> Alright, that's the end of our segment. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, on to our next one. Today I am here with Matt Phillips. How's it going, Matt? What is your favorite restaurant at the Trustful Entertainment District? I like all three, but I'd have to say that Ferris is probably the best, just because of the atmosphere, the indoor-outdoor kind of feel, um, and the food. I like Ferris. I like their food a lot. I like their chicken fingers. You like the chicken fingers at Ferris? What do you normally get with the chicken fingers? Like sauces? Like what do you think? Uh, I get ranch and honey mustard. I get the kids' chicken fingers with fries. Do you have anything negative to say about Ferris? No, I love Ferris. I come here every time I come home. How's it going, Bianca? We just want to know your fresh thoughts about the new Trustful Entertainment District. I think it's a lot of fun, you know. <laughs> it's, you know, it's always busy, you know, something to do keeps us busy here, so, you know, the time flies when we're working. The Entertainment District has brought a lot of um, people into the Trustful area, which is good. I did a digital survey of Ferris for a couple of the customers. Here on surveys. Thanks for watching our broadcast today. That's all we have time for. Have a good day.
Have a great day.